You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, General Hospital fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt, and there's a big, big shakeup coming this week with Lucy Co. and the men in her life, her boyfriend, Martin, and her ex-husband, Scott. So it looks like Miss Co. gets frisky and gets busted, and she's got to decide who's the right guy for her on the ABC soap opera. Let's dig into all this, but please click subscribe if you haven't already. So we have Lucy and Scotty Baldwin still scheming against Tracy Quartermain. You know, Lacey, Lacey, Lucy wanted Scott to woo and marry Tracy so that she could try and get her out of Lucy's company deception. It's an ill-conceived scheme, okay? Plus, Tracy figured it out right away because she is smarter than both of them. In the meantime, Lucy's plotting was misread by her boyfriend, Martin Gray. I like Marty, but I've also loved Scotty forever, so it's like Sophie's choice to me who to cheer for. Marty gets an earful from Tracy this week, and she tells the lawyer Lucy's cheating on him with Scotty. Tracy knows that's not true. She's making it all up, but she is is doing this to clap back on the schemers and hit Lucy where it hurts. If you don't remember their deep, deep history, Lucy and Tracy have hated each other since before Alan Quartermain married Lucy and brought the gold digger home to the mansion. But their hatred seems to be on an increase lately, if that's even possible. So when Tracy convincingly lies to Martin, it hits him in this vulnerable spot. You know, he already noticed Lucy obsessively staring at Tracy and Scott So he feels like he is being told a truth to confirm what he already suspected. After Tracy fills his ear with all her twisted words, Martin's ready to dump Lucy. Before he reaches her, though, Lucy is over doing some work for deception. She's getting ready for a photo shoot. It's got a country theme. Remember, Cody Bell is their hot cowboy model now. So we've got bales of hay, stuff like that, the whole hayseed vibe that they're going for. Scotty stops by so he and Lucy can conspire and collude about their Tracy plot. And she pushes Scotty to call Tracy and check in, see if things are on track with the romance heading towards marriage, they hope. But Miss Quartermain does not take the call because she's right in the middle of her talk with Martin and all of her lies to him about Lucy and her ex-husband, Scott. And Martin's paranoia has him lapping up every word that Tracy says. Then later, Lucy runs into Martin over at the Metro Court and he just dumps her. Although she begs him not to do it, she's pleading with him. She can't believe what's happening, but she should. He had already fussed at her about her fixation on Scott and that was when she had the opportunity to come clean and just tell him about the plan against Tracy. I mean, Marty is no stranger to schemes and sketchiness. He is Valentine's lawyer after all. I don't think he would have objected, but right now, Martin's not going to listen. He drank all the Kool-Aid that Tracy offered. He dumps Lucy and he walks away from her. So Lucy's crushed, of course, but she has to leave the Metro Court and go back to the photo shoot site for the deception thing. And Scotty's still there. So then she tells him her boyfriend, Marty, dumped her. And Scott decides to make the most of this opportunity and he comforts her. And then he decides to do something that's more than comforting. I mean, he's had the hots for his ex-wife for a minute now. So he seduces her, gets her to take a role in the hay with him. And, you know, it's fortunate they're on a cowboy theme set. So there's real hay for them to roll around in. And at first, Lucy, you know, she's like, no, we shouldn't do this. Stop. I mean, you know, Martin just broke up with her five minutes before she showed back up and Scotty started putting the moves on her. But at At the same time, Lucy's hurting, her ego is bruised, and here's a man that she once loved, she still finds attractive, and he's got these open arms, a shoulder to cry on, and a little something else for her down in the zipper area. So it's important to note, this isn't just a roll in the hay, a casual thing for Scott. He wants to be with Lucy. 
right now, Liesl Obrecht is out of his life. She shut him down. That door is closed. He's moving forward. His eyes are on Lucy. Lucy is who he wants now, and this whole situation is great for him. He didn't he didn't want to get involved with Tracy to start with. He was just considering this so that he got to spend more time with Lucy. So Martin broke up with Lucy, and now Scotty has sexed her up all good, and he wants to see where they go from here. And just as Scotty's feeling like things are going the way he wants, then there's a monkey wrench thrown in the mix because it's a soap opera. Marty actually shows up where the deception photo shoot is happening, you know, the same place where Scott and Lucy are undressed and fornicating. So Martin did have some regrets about breaking up with her like that after he had a minute to think about it and cool down. But his cooler head will not prevail when Marty walks in and demands to know what they're doing. Although, I mean, when you walk in and there's two people undressed and on top of each other, I I think you can figure out, you know, what they're doing without them having to explain it to you, right? Scott does not want to be interrupted. He wants to keep doing what he's doing. He's going to tell Martin, hit the bricks, because he wants to get back to reconnecting with his ex-wife, Lucy. Maybe she you know, can be the next Mrs. Baldwin again. But Lucy freaks out because she really was falling for Martin. She was wild about him. And now, of course, she's really mucked it up because Marty thinks Tracy was being 100% honest with him. And now it looks like she was. Lucy shouldn't have been scheming with Scotty to start with. I mean, it's just as Tracy said before, when Scotty and Lucy put their heads together, nothing good comes of it. So, I have to wonder if this is going to evolve into a triangle or something else. If Lucy stays with Scott, I mean, I'd rather not have a triangle. I would rather see Martin freed up to romance someone else. For instance, Tracy Quartermain. I mean, it'd be ironic if Lucy's plan blew up in her face so badly that Tracy not only keeps deception, but also winds up with Martin Gray. Also, I I wouldn't mind seeing Anna dating Martin. I mean, that would be kind of interesting because it would really irritate Valentine Cassidine because he's still sore about losing her and Martin is his lawyer. Ava Jerome is single as a Pringle and Marty might enjoy something adventurous with Ava, but I, I have to say he doesn't seem like he's up to her speed. I think he's probably a little too vanilla for wild Miss Jerome, but you never know. All right, that's it. Please click subscribe if you haven't. Drop your comments and be sure to watch GH this week as Lucy gets dumped and then plays hop on pop with Scotty and gets busted by the boyfriend that wants her back. Hey, come back soon. As always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. We're here talking just General Hospital seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>